Hello everyone, this is the Tone Deaf Monk here, once again bringing you a little product. Um, so I'm all in blue, definitely not my mood. I'm pretty elated to bring you this uh, IM. And this is the uh, Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light. I have the cadenza, I listen to it in my daily rotation, not daily, but in my rotation, uh, when I'm in the mood, I think it's a terrific IEM, also in blue. Um, these are stunning. They are absolutely gorgeous. I want to thank Linsoul for reaching out and providing this uh, for me. Um, the good fine folks over there, and it just helps me... Uh, give a chance to share this with you. Um, so give my impressions to see if this is something uh, you should put your money on. They're $249 US. They're not cheap. They look like they should be way more money. Um, I have a pair of GS Audio SE12s. Uh, they're top of the line. Uh, hybrid Sonyan BA and EST drivers and I would take this pair of IEMs over those 10 times over. Um, these do things the SE12s do not and the SE12s do these something that these do not. These are more aligned to where um, my signature, right? Um, not so much in the bassy part, uh, but we'll get into that in the sound signature as well. Um, I'll explain that. I don't love every I am, as you know, if you watch my videos. Um, and I like to shoot it out straight as I can. For instance, uh, I bought a, a Sennheiser IE200s. I get wrapped up in the hype sometimes too i can't help it i love audio i love my gear i love my toys and i love my sound um and i and it, it was one of those weird things that i brought them in and and i listened to it and i didn't think the value for money so 250 bucks those things are canadian as well 200 us and i returned them um just because i just didn't think the value is worth it i mean the cable was absolute trash garbage the build quality was they didn't feel like i didn't feel i was getting my money's worth regardless of the sound and the sound wasn't good enough to want to keep it i think the fit and finish of the kiwi ears orchestra light if it's going to be your sound signature and your library you will love these things um, because they're absolutely stunning. They look good. They feel good in your ears. Like the shell shape and the, the nice weight. The cable is even, you know, I, I, I'm pretty critical on people, manufacturers throwing in crappy cables that you throw away because I do that in my videos. I like this cable. Uh, you don't have to throw it away. It's got a certain amount of silver bling bling that if you were a crow, you would go apeshit. So there you go. Um, I think it's important to read reviews. I think it's important to understand the reviewer's library. And I think it's under important to know what you like and what you're looking for in a sound signature as well before you buy anything. So... Um, to give you an idea, so if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I use a variety of different music. Not always what I listen to, um, though I, I actually, I do listen to all of this, and I listen to my, my track test playlist uh, more than anything else, uh, just because I'm very familiar with it, and I like it, and I, I like the songs that I've added to it, so I'm very familiar with the songs, and how they should replay, you know, from my desktop with the Atom Audios to my downstairs system, um, to my headphones, to this, and, and everything is a overall comparison, right? 
um, and just doing some of the things. I love my female vocals, my preferred sound signature. If you haven't watched my May videos before, um, like my Zen's Up is my reference. I love that tuning of that driver. It's bassy, it's warm. It has great treble extension. It's not fatiguing. Uh, it's just a great I am for me. Uh, and that's my preferred sound signature. I'll, I'll say straight up, the Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light uh, isn't my typical, you know, uh, love uh, or the graph or the sound signature. But I do find enough endearing things in it that um, I enjoyed it. Like in vocals, I love my female vocals. Uh, Holly McNarland, Tracy Chapman, uh, Annie Lennox, uh, Melissa Etheridge. Um, I like females that have, you know, grit and stuff like that too. Uh, I love my male vocals, uh, Tragically Hip. Um, I use a song from uh, Labyrinthia and Diplo, uh, It's Time, really hard one to produce. I'll talk about that in a sec. I love my 80s and my classic rock. Uh, I like my jazz. So whatever I'm in the mood for, and that's a lot of it on my playlist, and I'll try to post it. I'm trying to find a way to post my um playlist so you guys get an idea and you can hear those things as well and it says on there what i'm listening for at certain time as well uh, i love um uh live recordings like uh from uh, tom cocker and red rider from the symphony sessions i love snm2 from metallica I love poncho i see I, I like also some very different stuff um uh, I listened to Blue Train from Poncho Sanchez. Um, uh, if you haven't checked him out, he and you like jazz uh, with a twist, um, check him out. I uh, Alanis Morissette again, more female vocals. Just that's my thing, right? Uh, and I used a bunch. Uh, another guy that I found, uh, Oliver Mzuki. He's an African musician, uh, guitarist and vocalist. Very cool music. Uh, probably you've never heard of him before. Check it out. If you like music uh, and different stuff, you know, Brothers uh, Brothers in Arms, Dire Straits. Uh, I, saw, I, I put another one on my playlist, uh, Niles Lofgren, uh, Keith Don't Go Live. Phenomenal recording. So uh, just some of the notes that I had uh, for that, and I'm not going to do it. That, that's just some of my music that I list, and again, I'll try and list that. I love the big open spaciousness, and I love hearing uh, the venue that it's played in, and I love hearing um, if I can hear um, that it's in a small studio, big studio, big recording space, giant stadium or a jazz club coffee shop okay i'm back because i'm gonna throw this little clip in somewhere in my video because as you know i go off on these tangents and uh couldn't find the e1da sg3 little dac i was talking about i realized that i was rambling on and I was talking, oh, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, what I heard in some of these tracks. And I realized I didn't do any of that. Uh, and just some of my notes, you know, from female vocals. Uh, I loved the female vocals of the orchestra light. I think uh, it did it awesome. I mean, a lot of my notes said, you know, Holly McNarland, lovely. Um Tracy Chapman, just uh, love her voice, nice height on stage. Uh, Paradox, MEB, crisp, clear, pianos, nice. The orchestra light did all the instruments, I think, pretty accurately. Definitely not one of the most um, um, super articulate uh, IEMs. Like, it's not massively analytical where, I mean, it just focusing. I'm going off on a tangent again. Um, 80s House of Broken Love Great White um, again Kicks could have used a bit more weight extension on airs, vocals um, 
probably needed a little bit more air. Weed King's Tragically Hip, classic example. I love that kind of rock music. Um, just great vocal centric. You could just hear Gordon Dowie's voice and uh, throwbacks to good memories. Uh, great guitars, again, clarity. Everything in the instruments when they're playing, they're not, um, they're there to back up the vocals, in my opinion. Um, even the Crystal Method, uh, though I probably wouldn't listen to too much EDM with this, it was nice. The the BAs were, you know, fast and thumpy. So the one where I said I would go talk about it's time, Labyrinth Sia Diplo, it was really hard to produce vocals. Sometimes get shouty. Um, I found with the right tips and the cable that I, I ended up using um, that it was nice. And it did it well. You could hear the backup singers. And sometimes when the duets are going and there's more than one singer going at the same time, you could pick that out. That's really good. Um, and sometimes this gets really congested and shouty. And I didn't find that at all. Um, Joe Satriani, guitarist. Uh, great left, right, center. This is where it had, I think, good depth as well. Um it does electric guitar really well, um, drums really well. Um, but again, it just, in a way that was more smoother that you could enjoy it. Uh, Go Go Penguins, Modern Jazz. Um, two albums in the journey of listening to this I Am that I, I, it took me a while to write this and do this. Uh, I ended up listening to the entire album of Go Go Penguins. I liked it so much. Um, as same as um, Oliver Manzuki, I listened to two hours and 22 minutes, I think, the other night, just and I realized that just getting lost in it. Um, Pancho Sanchez, I did the same thing, it was just like I'm just chilling with his little Congo drums, um, and his vocals, and it was just in a happy place. And um, I would buy that set if I was listening to this music. If I was listening to death metal and EDM and, and rap, and maybe not. But Louis Armstrong's voice sounded fantastic, and Ella Fitzgerald sounded good in the same song. Male and female vocals, uh, very good. Uh, Wishing You Would Stay, uh, Tea Party and Holly McNarland, where a lot of IEMs, uh, you... I listened to what the Tin Hi Fi C5 the other day that I hadn't did a review on. I couldn't hear her at all. She was just so washed out in the mix. And I was like, wow, uh, were this played it really nicely? Um, and again, another one I totally love. The Royal Philharmonic Orchestra did a, a release, I don't think too long ago, uh, from pop music all pop songs and uh it i just i like the orchestra playback and it was engaging and fun anyway i'm gonna interject this clip into it and hopefully i didn't go off on too much of a tangent and give you a little bit more uh about that uh one last one too uh tricycle flim and the bb's um where it's really dynamic and i use this uh test for dynamics um, it didn't do it uh, that well because it needed the the bottom end to bring the impact, and it was one of these that it didn't. It doesn't have this. I am is not a massive dynamics uh, set, uh, just enough for fun, but not enough to to blow your mind with the wow factor. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, um. But uh, yeah, Keith, don't go with the uh, the acoustic guitar. <laughs> Magical, uh, honestly, it was uh, pretty fantastic. Uh, you know what? Something else that it did really well in, in the drums, which was funny, was that Chinese uh, Hawkman Kim, uh, the poem of Chinese drum. Uh, I listened to the whole freaking ten minutes um, of banging on drums. Pretty cool. Um, but then I listened to um, Angel from a Massive Attack, and it was like, I can, I know what I'm missing, but I'm not 
hating it for it. Does that make sense? It's 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 missing the the sub droning and the thing, but it it's I'm still enjoyable because it's uh, the vocals and the, everything else it did uh, well. So I can appreciate the flaws in something that I'm you know there's some IEMs that do everything extremely well um, without too much effort um on your part you just plug it in and throw it in your ears and you do it um uh, again with the kiwi ears orchestra light um uh, it's a great i am uh and just know it's it's technical flaws i might say and um uh, and and genre specific that's it stick this in shit one more song of the stars remastered by dead can dance if you want to just chill zone out um it's very eclectic music i like it a lot um it did it incredibly well just you know it's one of those uh, songs where i thought the orchestra light uh, did a pretty good job of of demo, you know of making this i say no more i'll get myself into trouble <laughs> bye the synopsis Overall, uh, Kiwi Ears Orchestra Light. Um, so I think this is their second rendition of this uh, BA, 8BA. And it's, you know, more reasonably priced than the original. And certainly, uh, from what I've heard and read, better tuned. And I would agree with that. I spent some time with this IM to get to know it. Uh, I source rolled, I tip rolled, I cable rolled, uh, and in the end, I found the stock cable pretty good. Um, I threw on some Moondrop spring tips, um, and I threw, uh, it, it worked on a bunch of DACs, so try it with a bunch of different DACs. I think you'd, you'd have to if you have, or if you're thinking about picking this up and you have a more analytical DAC not so much a warm deck, then it would be better. The reason I say that is uh, the bass is kind of a bit uh, rolled off. I mean, so first of all, if you've never listened to a all BA or BAEST or some kind of hybrid set without a dynamic driver, okay, uh, BA bass is different. It's faster, kind of like planar fast uh doesn't have as much decay what i actually kind of find interesting with these is i quite enjoyed the bass it, it would it have i wouldn't buy these if i were buying uh, for a library that was heavy bass uh, it you'll be disappointed it's not for that um but the bass that's there is very good quality, and I like the fact that it, it has some meat to it. Wish it had a little bit more, because that plays into male vocals and female vocals. Um, but I really like the way it did female vocals after I played around with some tip tips, and, and uh, they got to where I really liked it. Um, I didn't like this on warmer sources. Uh, I liked it on more analytical sources. Um, the best synergy I, I found with it was on a um, E1DA SG3, little dongle DAC. Of course, I can't find it on my desk. It's a teeny little thing. Um, it's very analytical. It's super clean. And it plays well into these because uh, the highs are also rolled off a little bit to make it non-fatiguing. 
um, and it brings that out in a in a way. So I find with IEMs that are super warm, these are a little bit on the warm side, not too much, not too colored, um, but I find it helps with that to bring out the best uh, in that. So. And if you you probably if you're looking at this, you've probably had more than one IEM already, and have a you know a better idea. And if you don't, um, then you'll get there eventually in your journey in this evil little rabbit hole hobby. So um, the highs are rolled off a little bit as well, but it's they do that I think in the tuning just so it's not fatiguing. Um, and it's, it's enjoyable that way. I mean, you can just chill with these without, uh, too much bass getting in the way of vocals. I would say this is another one of these IMs that are pretty vocal centric. Uh, so it really focuses on the, the, the singing and the instruments and the bass are there and it plays everything accurately. And nothing was too out of tune. Like even Hani Arani in her piano, could I thought the the note weight on the piano was uh, could it be a little bit more? Yes, but it played it really nicely, and I could hear the details, and uh, it brought everything out, and it was enjoyable playback. So no knocking it for that um, at all. Um, the a vocal centric to me i am really do, does that it just it 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 allows you to listen to the vocals without distraction so you don't get too many uh highs and too much things going on that are distracting you from pulling you in to listening to somebody's sweet singing the GS Audio SE12s, I said they were the opposite of these. Yeah, they're, man, they are super articulate, super detailed, crazy everything. Even the stage is off the hook. Doesn't make it in a very enjoyable I am to listen to because you're, 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 your brain is trying to focus in on so many things that you're hearing that you, it's hard to just chill out and relax where these don't do that and they do it really well. So... Uh, that's why I would said I'd take a $249 pair over my Canadian $1,300 pair, uh, or a thousand us, uh, any day, twice on Sunday, maybe three times. So, uh, the stage on these, um, and it kind of plays into the overall tuning. It's not massive. Um, I thought it had average width the stereo separation and where the instruments play again pretty good pretty fun um but it wasn't the biggest and it wasn't the the deepest that's for sure but it had good height sometimes on certain songs like tracy chapman where you, you could you could definitely tell there was a height difference between different singers and and the mics and stuff so that was pretty good um the BA bass, if you're not familiar with it too, is fast and more thumpy than you would think on with BA. It's pre it was pretty good, um, but it didn't have the note weight of a dynamic driver. So uh, listen to a BA set, see if they're for you. Um, I prefer dynamic drivers uh, and the extra note weight and warmth and the decay that comes along with it. Um, but I can also appreciate what these do for the fast, fast bass. Like, I mean, uh, some people in their car audio systems like four fifteens in a giant ported box. And then there are other people that want two eight inch drivers in a small sealed enclosure that want the fast and speed. So we're all different for what like we like just in conclusion, um, I think you're getting a pretty good overall package. I think Kiwi Ears did a pretty good job on their second rendition of uh, the orchestra. And I'm excited to see what they come out in the future. 
I just seen on their website that they have a new planar coming out and a new hybrid coming out. And so, I mean, two hits. I think the Condensa was uh, really good and the uh, Orchestra Light is also great for what it is and a different tuning. And I'm, I really applaud companies like uh, Kiwi Ears for being so brave. They're not a, you know, they don't have a, a signature house brand that every IEM sounds similar to each other. Um, and they're brave enough to come out with a an all BA set and a single dynamic set and a planar set. Um, one of the, I think, companies that we should watch more closely uh, if you're thinking about uh, picking this up, I hope I've shared a little bit about uh, what I think it does and doesn't. Um, just know your genre, bass heavy, not going to do it. Treble heads, probably not going to also like it uh, as much. But if you just want a vocal centric, chill, super comfy, absolutely stunningly gorgeous, I am and you got $249 just burning a hole in your pocket, click the link on Linsoul and make your purchase. So I don't get any money from that. Uh, I just thought I'd, you know, throw that thing out there <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed. I love you guys very much. And I much appreciate all the ladies and gentlemen that comment and like and share. So, bottom of my heart, Tone Deaf Monk, Odie.